Are you depressed? Are you afraid? Are you feeling lonely? Or are you thinking that God is mad at you or is angry with you? Well, today I want to tell you, you are surrounded by God. He is in you, He is with you, He is upon you and He is for you. Wow, amazing. A complete protection for the one who loves God, for the one who follows God. If you read in Philippians chapter 2 verses 13 says, For God is working in you, giving you the desires and the power to do what pleases him. You know, the scripture here tells us that God is in you and is working in you. Maybe you find it difficult to face the challenges of the day. You don't know how to manage it. You don't know how to handle it. But the scripture here tells us that God is in you and is working in you. That means he gives you the ability. He gives you the strength. He gives you the help required to face the challenges. Remember, it is not by your strength, but by his strength. When you're weak, then you are strong in God. You know, you might be wondering, where is God in the midst of crisis? Well, he's working in you, perfecting all that is required. Amen? The God is in you. Secondly, God is with you. Amen. If you read in Hebrews chapter 13 verses 5 says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. You know, no matter what you have to face today or you have to face tomorrow, you are not going to face it alone because God is with you. He is the faithful one. He has committed to be with you. And when he is with you, you are never going to lose. You are going to have the victory. Amen. He is with you. Thirdly, the scripture tells us that God is upon us. You know, if you read in Acts chapter 1 verses 8 says, You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit shall come upon you. You know, He is upon you. You are covered. He is empowering you to live an amazing, to live a powerful life. Not an ordinary life, but an extraordinary life so that you can be a witness. You can be the salt of the earth. You can be the light of the earth, the aroma of Christ. Amen. He is upon you. You know, you are surrounded by God. You are surrounded by God. And you should not be afraid. In fact, the enemy should be afraid. And not only that he is in you, upon you and with you but he's also for you he's not against you you know he's not angry with you he's not mad at you you know he loves you with an everlasting love if you read in romans chapter 8 verses 31 says if god is for you who can be against you maybe people are against you your family members your boss whoever or maybe the situation is against you. You don't have a job. You don't have finances. You know, I want to tell you, don't focus on who or what is against you. But focus on who is for you. And God is for you. And if God is for you, he's very well to change your situation for you. And if you still doubt that God is for you, have a look at the cross. He died for you. He died for you. And if you're the only one, he would have still done it for you. If you look at the parable of the shepherd, he leaves the 99 sheep and he runs after one. You know, it seems very funny, the shepherd leaving the 99 and goes after the one. But it isn't funny when the one is you. You matter to God. You know, he is for you. He's not against you. You know, I want to encourage you, all of you, be assured today that you are surrounded by God. He is in you, He's with you, He's upon you, and He is for you. He's not against you. Amen. God bless you.